So we uh, originally took the idea of using an existing mannequin, whether it be uh, a newborn or uh, an adult mannequin, and we would uh, take an existing ECMO circuit that uh, the provider would have, modify it so that way you can change the resistance values in the circuit itself. Um, if you look down here at the eigenflow, uh, we've got uh, a venous side and an arterial side marked by blue and red. And what we would do is we would take the ECMO circuit, cut it into two different places, and then insert in line and from the back, you can see here's two cords. This would be your ECMO circuit, plugging it in and it would flow out the back. And inside the box are a series of valves which control the flow rate of the ECMO circuit. And the reason why we wanted to do that is because over time, ECMO runs for days at a time and there's a higher percentage of getting blood clots or kink tubes. So we want to put the ECMO specialist in training to recognize these issues and to respond accordingly. Now on the back, there's also, I'll flip it around here, there's also an air port for putting air into the system as well. So another problem is getting air embolus into the system and trying to filter those out. So we've incorporated that as well. And then over here in the system, we have a uh, blood monitor. These blood parameters are uh, used by perfusionists and some are used by ECMO specialists. We designed these uses mainly for ECMO, but uh, if cardiac bypass perfusionists want to train on this too, they can do that as well. And everything is controlled on this box through an iPhone app that we have developed. Uh, with one hand, you can fully operate the eigenflow by adjusting down here at the bottom. We're looking at uh, thrombosis, which are blood clots. We can have the circuit completely open, or we can have it partially obstructed or fully obstructed, so that would be zero. We can also move over to the embolus tab, select small, medium, or large, what size you want for an air embolism. We can select, select small, and it gives you 30 seconds of creating an air bubble that is uh, put into the system. And finally, we have the blood monitor here. This controls all the values on the screen that you see up front. We move up to 170 uh, PO2. We would select that, and you can actually change the value that you want. You can trend it over time. And then once we move back, it gets updated to the display. So everything is done wirelessly. It goes up to 150 feet through Bluetooth. And we think that uh, the eigenflow will uh, primarily enhance ECMO simulation. You can find Curtis Life Research online at curtisliferesearch.com. Mm -hmm.